rock and roll. Uh, so welcome, Taylor. Welcome back. Week two. Thank you. Thank Appreciate you. you coming back. We're going to talk about hard money, cheaper, cheaper hard money. Um, how we, you know, what that means for those that might uh, not understand what that means. Um, scenarios what information or details we would need to explore scenarios, et cetera. And I'm hoping that this one will be very interactive. And so we are encouraging your questions. If you have a question, you can use the chat box or the Q and A window. Either one is totally fine. We'll do our best to monitor both of those. And then uh, I've also created a Google Doc that I'm going to drop in the webinar chat with just some an example of the type of questions that we typically are going to need to be able to answer on a, uh, a hard money deal, fix and flip funding, and also a link if you have a deal or uh, you have a client with a deal. Um, but let's, I'm going to backtrack a little bit. So, uh, last week we talked about DSCR financing, debt service coverage ratio. This is for, uh, investment rental income based properties where we use the income of the property to qualify for the financing with the borrower's credit score. And we need assets as well. This week, we're going to talk about hard money, uh, which is kind of an industry term, but really fix and flip financing options. And even the, the 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 phrase fix and flip can take off, take take on a couple of different meanings. So you may be fixing it to actually flip it, but we you might want to be exploring hard money to acquire and renovate a property and then put permanent financing in place. So these two last week and this week piggyback well together because you might use hard money to purchase and renovate a property, then put DSCR, permanent financing in place, so that you can do it all again. The, the Burr method, right? Buy, renovate, rent, refi, repeat. Buy, renovate, rent, refi, repeat. Well, the buy and renovate is what we're talking about. That that This type of financing is, is what you can uh, use as far as that goes. For those of you that missed last week, Taylor, um, has been a part of our team for the last few months. And the reason why we were excited to bring Taylor onto the team is his extensive experience with hard money, fix and flip financing, with DSCR, with commercial, and even I think next week, I didn't even talk about to this uh, with, with Taylor, but I think next week we'll talk about ground up construction uh, financing options as well. So all of those things Taylor is very well versed in which is uh, why we're so excited to have him here. Many of you have already chatted with Taylor, connected with Taylor, maybe even sent a referral that we're quoting or working with on some level. So uh, Taylor, maybe let's start by a better defining, you know, hard money, fix, fix and flip financing. What, what does that mean? How, you know, how does it work? What are you looking for? What are the lenders looking for? Just some general principles and guidelines and criteria that folks should keep in mind. Okay, great. Thanks. Thanks, Josh. So I was actually prepared to talk about a new true hard money with no renovation funds, but we can let's start can there. Also, I'm just let's really excited there. about this project. I mean, this new yeah. program. So Let, okay. let's start there. Perfect. Okay. All right. So, but going back to what you, you see us talking about hard money. So hard money has the term has evolved over the day, over the years, right? But hard money typically can be perceived as hard, meaning hard on the fees and hard on the rate, but it really meant, you know, hard, meaning there's hard equity. So, yep. um, and it typically traditionally has always been, you know, very private type of hard money where it's an individual or a small group of individuals looking to deploy cash and capital to, to uh, help fixers and, and, you know, renovators acquire properties. And back in the day, before we had all the national kind of quote unquote hard money lenders, you know, I would run it if I was doing a needed a, you know, a true hard money loan, I'd run an ad in Facebook or not even Facebook. It, it was a Craigslist looking for investors, you know, 
people with money would call me up. And that was true hard money. You know? A lot of times it was 10 points and 12% interest back then. Well, and, so, and I'll um, tell you, uh, I'll just share a personal story. The very first investment property I ever bought, I bought with hard, a hard money, a local hard money lender. So I was working with a local wholesaler guy. He had a local <laughs> hard money lender guy. Uh, and the, you described almost exactly what the terms were. It was like 10, yeah. 10 points, 12%. And uh, 90 days. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But I think I don't know if it was 90 days or, or it might have been a little bit yeah. longer. But what you described is my exact first experience with hard money back in 2004 or five, I think. Yeah. So that's that's exactly right. This was that that hard money loan I was just talking about where I, I ran an ad on on Craigslist was like 2000. And yep. it was because I had this this uh, bankruptcy or this uh, foreclosure bailout that was referred by an attorney. It was too late to stop the foreclosure. His only option was to try and get some cash out of it. Yeah. And I had five days till the foreclosure sale date. So it was like, I needed something quick, down, dirty, hard funding. And, you know, it was a great deal for everybody. Everybody made out the, the seller, the, the, the uh, hard money lender and, my, and me, we all won. So yeah. at any rate, um, today's hard money is much different. I mean, there's still all the private money guys out there, but there's, but there are more, it's more institutionalized now. So we have institutions with credit boxes, you know, and they, they basically, it, it fits the box or it doesn't. And they're not just looking at equity, but one of the national lenders that we work with just rolled out and it's nationwide, except for North Dakota, South Dakota, Minnesota, and Vermont. So all but four states nationwide, except for North Dakota, South Dakota, um, Minnesota, and Vermont. Minnesota and Vermont, and in we those, can't lend. In, yeah, we, we we do have some other options in some of those states. Yeah, yeah. And, there's there's yeah. there's some options, and the um, the uh, in, Nexa can't lend in Massachusetts or New York. Right. So the um. But anyways, what I love about this is it's even though it's institutional, it a lot it really feels like true old school hard money in the sense of um, it's a fifty percent LTV product. So if they've got fifty percent down or fifty percent equity on a refi, it doesn't matter what their credit score is, no score, five hundred, four hundred, whatever it doesn't matter. Um, the uh, it's a thirty year fixed, which is very unusual. And um, it's one day out of bankruptcy. There's no limit on how many mortgage leads they may have had in the past or how recent, as long as they're current now. And um, it's just it's just a really cool product. Really, they're going off of that equity, like a true hard money, kind of the original definition of it. So if it's at 50% LTV, you know, essentially we're good to go. They're still going to run credit and look for something like tax liens and and you know they're going to make sure the mortgages are current, and that there aren't any un, you know bankruptcies that are showing that they haven't discharged. But for the most part, it's it's a exciting program. It just rolled out, so I don't you know it's when when a lender introduces a new program, you know there's questions that we don't know sometimes right. at first, and also um, it doesn't always last forever. You know, they basically roll it out, and if there's a if it if it doesn't work out, if it's not profitable for them, they can take it away. So, make hay while the sun is shining is kind of my what I was taught early in the business. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so, so uh, well, before we jump into some other you know fix and flip financing and, and and scenarios like that, what 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 when you saw that you were obviously excited. Yeah. What what type of typical scenarios, if any? were the reason why you were so excited to see this, this product. So I would say most of the quote unquote hard money out there that's institutional and nationwide is really we still worried about credit score. And that just goes totally against hard money. To me. Hard money should not care about that or they have a mortgage late restriction. All the things this program doesn't have in their guidelines is why I was excited about it because so many of these, these, you know, lenders that hold themselves out as hard money aren't truly hard money. So that's, that's really what I like. about it. But the um, it's, it's just the, the nature of the 50% is LTV is really the, the magic number to hit. 
That's that's what I find most exciting. But scenarios. Oh, wait, you're muted. Before before we pivot, if you have a scenario that you think this pro program might be a good fit for, um, I've put my contact information, Taylor's contact information. We even have an intake form where you you can submit if it's for yourself or for a client, you can submit the information there. Uh, and we'd be happy to explore that as an option. A uh, couple and, more yeah, points on it, though. A couple more points on it before we pivot. Yeah. So, okay. Yeah. So it also works for commercial properties, um, which is great. Mixed-use properties, which is great. Yeah. If it's a refinance, the commercial property has to have 70% occupancy. If it's a purchase, it can be vacant. Um, let me look at some it's, other it's, notes. Uh, I'm looking. I recorded something on this the other day. So it's... One to four unit residential, mixed use, multifamily, retail, warehouse or industrial, and even automotive. Yeah, mm -hmm. exactly. Um, so and lot, and rates rates are cases. you know the the lowest rate on it. You know there's there could be some adjustments upwards, but the lowest rate is nine point four nine, and that would be a purchase nine point nine nine on a rebuy, and that's that's uh, you know relatively good rate for a hard money loan like yeah. that. I mean, a really good rate. And points are just, you know, normal. Whatever we're we're charging, a lender isn't tacking on five points or three points or two points. You know, it's just yeah. even one point. So it's it's a really, I think it's a great option. Hopefully, hopefully, uh, you know, we all do a lot of business with it. Yeah, I love it. I but love but it. two scenarios you said. One is somebody's got a free and clear property and they need down payment to purchase. Great, fast, you know, relatively fast cash out option there. Yeah. Yep. And um and then of course, um, you know, just somebody looking to to purchase and they don't they want to don't want to jump through a bunch of hoops and it doesn't have renovation funds, but a lot of investors out there are self-funding their renovations anyway, which is yep. why they would have a low credit score because their utilization is so high. Yeah. Perfect. All right. Let's let's uh <laughs> maybe pivot more to other types of options where Maybe there's a scenario that that's not the case that you just mentioned, right? Where it, it they don't have the the funds available for renovation. Like let's let's talk about more um, typical fix and flip type of financing and funding. What are the criteria that you're seeing? What are LTV ratios, credit score? What are those? Some of those qualification standards or or minimums when it comes to uh those options okay so and as you know as you know we we work with a lot of lenders in that space but i'm going to just kind of lay out the general guidance right yeah yeah so most most lenders want to see some skin in the game so they're looking for you know let's say the acquisition price is is a hundred thousand you're looking for a twenty five thousand dollar down payment so 75 percent of the acquisition and again this is just general guidelines right yep. and they usually have a hundred thousand dollar minimum total loan amount so seventy five thousand is seventy five percent of that hundred thousand plus a twenty five thousand dollar renovation budget that that hits the hundred thousand dollar loan amount yeah and then um that that loan amount needs to be approximately 70% of the after repair value. So once it's completed and you've got a hundred thousand dollar loan amount, we need to see about $143,000 ARV. Okay. Now the ARV is calculated by an appraiser who's got the scope of work that the investor plans on doing to the property. And he writes, he does an appraisal based on, subject to these renovations here's what the property would be worth yeah so that's that's kind of general guidelines we have lenders that will go down to a 600 score that may change some of the ratios that we're talking about we have lend we have lenders that will go up to 100 percent financing but now score is going to be coming very ex very uh, important as well as experience so there's you know there's a there's a lot of a lot of movement in that spectrum, but right. what I just laid out is kind of the general guidance. One thing I so, run into. Oh, go ahead. Well, no. So the 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 big factors that will affect availability of products or programs. 
how good the deal is. Like, is it really a good deal? Right. I mean, that's going to, that's going to play a big role. Yeah. Credit o score. Overly optimistic ARVs are, is a big problem. Yeah. So is it really a good deal? And honestly, if you're not sure, like, let's run it up the flagpole. <laughs> we'll, we'll find out if it's a real good deal w without, without a, you know, a ton of effort and, and so forth. I mean, we having a second opinion, whether it's for you who are the, you know, you're, you're looking at, at the deal for yourself or you're looking at the deal for a client, getting another set of eyes specifically from this perspective is going to help protect you if you're the client or your client, right? To make sure that, you know, does this actually make sense? Is it, does it pencil or is it, or is the deal extremely thin and we're just hoping, you know, or, or, or we're, yeah, like, like Taylor said, we're just optimistic, you know, that we can set a new, uh, you know, high, high comp in the neighborhood or, or whatever the, the case may be. Um, uh, so the, how good of a deal credit and then experience. And we do have a lender that will do a hundred, a hundred for experienced investors, hundred percent of the purchase and a hundred percent of the rehab. They have to be experienced. And it's got to be a good deal, right? The, the the deal factor is really like, if it's a good enough deal, there's probably financing out there for it. Even if it means yeah. you got to go find the traditional old school hard money lender in your back, in your own backyard, right? I mean, yeah. If it's a deal, somebody's going to want to, you know, partner on it or or uh, fund it and, and help in some form or fashion. Yeah. The um And good credit score on that one. Yeah. 700 yeah. plus the um and sometimes i've run into where the deal is so good that i don't have a lender. like i've got this one guy and he finds who works networks with a lot of churches finds so many properties where it's like as is value is a hundred thousand plus and he's buying it sub fifty thousand and you know loan amount just gets too small that guy needs a true next door local hard money lender you know to get or he get needs a line done. of credit or he you needs know, a line could, of credit. We could look at helping yeah. on a line of credit so that he can fund fund those and then you know pay back his line. Yeah, and and use that as the the, the capital option for it, which we can. Or, or he yeah, money. or he needs that hard money loan if he doesn't have good credit to to get yep. that to get exactly. that initial cash out that we we're talking about earlier. Yeah. So I did drop this um this document in the chat, but I'll, I'll share my screen real quick and I'll share the doc again, because I think depending on when folks come in, they can't, uh, they may or may not see it, but this is an example list of information, basic information to request a quote or information or, or to see if it would qualify from one of many lenders that we work with. And Taylor mentioned it, but I'll, I'll, I'll like double down on the fact that one of the benefits of, of working with us at Nexa is all the many, many, many lender relationships we have. Over 200 wholesale lenders, thousands of private, hard money, commercial options, et cetera. Do we shop all, you know, hundreds or thousands? No, but that's one of the values that Taylor brings is his experience in the industry and specifically in this niche gives him a head start on where we might go first, given the deal and the scenario, or which three lenders we might take this to, to shop and find the best quote, the best rate, the best deal for the client. Um, but it's, it's as simple as this to get started. Uh, just one example, right? Borrower name, loan type, okay, hard money, or fix and flip, whatever the the uh, you know the term that the the lender is using, experience, investor experience, the loan amount requested, property address, some additional notes and comments, the purchase contract, an itemized budget. That's a big one, right? If it's if it needs renovation, what what's our itemized budget? Current photos, and then if uh, if funding in an LLC, those documents. Um, now again, that list is going to vary depending on the lender. And that's just sort of an initial starting place. And when you go to joshvips.com forward slash hard money, that's just an intake form that mimics a lot of these 
questions and gets Taylor enough initial information and detail, detail so he can get to, to work on shopping and, and quoting, whether it's for you or your client. Taylor, anything to add to this list here or just generally speaking as far as like that information goes? No, it, it, that's that's comprehensive. And just know that I typically call, you know, when a form is submitted, I'm, you know, I almost always call and just right. confirm the information. If I see a problem, I don't just blow it off. I, I dig deeper and see if there's any alternative ways we could structure it. Yeah. 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 So finding... Um, that's the other benefit with Taylor, like ask, knowing the right questions to ask, to uncover, is there a better way that we could structure this? Is there something we're not considering that, that maybe is, is relevant that, that either can, uh, open the door to, to better options or help avoid some frustration and, uh, and, um, you know, wasting of, of, of everybody's time. Right. So like knowing the right questions to ask. The things to clarify, um, and uh, and how to present it, uh, the deal to the lenders are are critical, you know, values or uh, critical things, uh, you know, and, and value adds that that Taylor bring and and is why you know we have him on these sessions and we've we brought him onto our team. So Il Isabel had asked if we have a flyer on the uh, the fifty percent hard uh, hard money. I don't have a flyer yet. We'll no, it's it, yeah, it's so new that we don't we don't really have anything on it yet. Other yeah, than I did make a short put one together. Yeah, I did make a short video, but it really is as simple <laughs> as this: no minimum credit score, max fifty percent LTV, and then the different property types uh, are detailed there. There's not and much loan else. amounts. Loan amount yeah, seventy five thousand to two million, or a hundred thousand to five million if it's commercial. Yeah. So. Um, you know, it, it's pretty, it's pretty simple and straightforward, but we can work on um, getting some, some, some marketing collateral for those that might be interested. Um, anything else, Taylor, that people should be aware of or be thinking through or that maybe we didn't cover. And, and again, we would love your questions. If you have a scenario, um, if something wasn't clear, uh, if you're, you know, you've got a deal that you're working on right now. Uh, go ahead and you can pop that in the chat. And even after the fact, if you're watching this uh, on our on-demand replay that we always uh, set these up on. Yeah, I would just say that, you know, when we're, when if somebody's here for the first time, they, they may get the impression that we do just the product we're talking about, but we do a lot of different products. Um, you know, I, I handle the investment products and, you know, yep. invest for investors. And we've got a whole team that's handling a, a lot of the owner occupied stuff. Everything we're talking about in this, in this side is, you know, for investment properties, but. Yeah. So last week we talked about the SCR with Taylor. Uh, next week, we're going to talk about ground up construction financing. Um, I referred to Taylor, a, uh, an agent this morning, who's got a couple of local builder developers that that Taylor is going to be connecting with and exploring options. Yesterday, I referred an agent who's got an, an, a, a client looking for financing for a commercial property, uh, and we get DSCR requests on the regular um, and 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 fix and flip uh, as well. Whether it's to to refinance, uh, whether it's for purchase, you know, any any of those scenarios, we, we can we can and are willing to to help. Um, to explore options um, and even, you know, unique, uh, unusual scenarios. You know, we're, 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 we're up for uh, exploring any and all of that. We can't guarantee that we've got a solution for every scenario. Um, but if we don't, um, it's, it's probably not out there. It probably doesn't exist. If we can't find something, uh, it, it likely, uh, it's likely because uh, it just, it's just not out there. Um, yeah, an interesting one that we just had last week was a lady purchasing a single family residence and the seller had put up five um, non-conforming, non-permitted tiny homes. Yeah. We had an option for it. It didn't work out because the lender disregards the value of those homes. So they were asking too much for that lender. But right. yeah, there's a, there's a lot of options out there for even the unique property types. 
Well, if you have a question or a scenario and you'd like to explore it directly with uh, with either of us, we have uh, Taylor's information, my information in the chat. If you're watching this on uh, replay on our YouTube channel, Wake Up uh, Real Estate or at wakeup.realestate, you'll find that information in the description. Um, you can also submit a deal at uh, joshvips.com forward slash hard money. Or if you have a DSCR, uh, DSCR scenario, uh, you can go to uh, joshvips.com forward slash DSCR. Isabel, uh, we did have a question come in. Uh, yeah. On the new nationwide program, uh, that's a 30 year fixed. On yeah. the new nationwide program, how long does the investor have to repay it back? Yeah, that's one of the unique things about that product is it's actually a 30 year fix. So it's not a short term. A lot of time hard hard money or fix and flip fun financing is a 90 day or a 12 month. Um, and they've got to then refi into a permanent uh, scenario or a permanent uh, um, solution, which we have those. Uh, but this one is, is uh, you know, essentially a permanent solution right up front. And the flip side to that is there's a prepayment. Time. Right. Okay. So, and that varies by state. Um, it varies by state, yeah, and the lender can you can, it can be bought down to one year. Okay, unless it's a state that doesn't allow it. So there is a prepayment penalty. Good to know. Um, and and it, the minimum on that is one year, Taylor. If they buy yeah. it down, mm -hmm. okay. And what's uh, what would what is it standard? Three, five, five, five. Okay, good to know. Good to know that as well. Isabel, great question and questions. Uh, and it's Taylor, a declining prepay too. So okay, 5% okay. year five, 5% so so. the first year down 1% per year. Gotcha. 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 Well, good stuff. Uh, as always, um, appreciate everybody spending some time this afternoon. As I mentioned, the recording replay will be available immediately afterward on demand at the same link that led you to this. We will also get the, the replay uploaded to our YouTube channel, Wake Up Real Estate, and on our website, wakeup.realestate. Uh, next week, we're going to be talking about options for ground up construction <laughs> financing. Uh, and uh, we'll we'll let everybody, uh, you know, know on that, the link to uh, to join us for that. And, and honestly, um, we, I have, we have a lot of folks that ask about that. We have several, you know, I, I generally get several people a week either DMing or texting, et cetera, asking for those options. So I think that'll be another good one to have in your uh, tool chest for when you're, you know, when you're talking with people and, uh, you know, exploring um, with investors in your local market, building relationships with investors. Uh, that can be a great, um, you know, way for you to help them do more deals and, and give you more opportunities as well. So Taylor, uh, thanks again. And uh, we'll see everybody back next week. Uh, and uh, if you if you uh, check out the Wake Up Real Estate show every morning at uh, 10 a.m. Eastern, you can uh, you can find us at Wake Up Real Estate on YouTube or just go to wakeup.realestate. Thanks and uh, see you soon.